Good Wednesday. Yeah, I think somewhere in there. Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a cold morning across the Mid-South. We are seeing some very brutally chilly numbers out there. If you're going to be doing anything outdoors throughout the rest of the day, definitely want to make certain you or especially any of the younger with you are going to be bundled up properly. This is not even close to messing around with the temperatures for this morning. This is not jacket and ball cap weather. This is multiple layers gloves, hats, scarf, the whole routine. We're talking about some just absolutely chilly numbers across much of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the morning and for that matter throughout the rest of the day. And if you love cold weather, you've hit the jackpot because we've got a lot of cold days coming up without anything involving warmer conditions for the next several days. It's going to be better part of the early portion of 2018 before we see any temperatures around or over 50 degrees. We're going to be looking at some very cold numbers across much of the area throughout the next several hours and the rest of the next several days. Occasional fluctuations up and down, but that's the way it works at this time of the year. Coming up, we'll take a look at traffic. We'll take a look at what's going on with your forecast into the new year. Maybe some pretty cold conditions for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and heading back to work next week at this time. Got a lot of interesting changes taking place as well, so something to think about there if you're going to be heading out the door relatively soon. So again, for the rest of the morning, if you've got any questions about the forecast, if you've never tuned in here before again social media information here seven day forecast on my right that's your left and then up here again if you have any questions email me at austin.onic at wreg.com if you're just joining us thanks a lot for tuning in on this early wednesday morning and definitely want to drop your location and your weather reports if you got them put that weather thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use and let's see what's going on with some amateur meteorology around the community we'll talk more about our chances for snow. Yes, I said it at this point. So yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Ken DeSautel, hope I'm saying that right. How about just stay inside? Not a bad idea, but a lot of people have to get outdoors, so we're talking to them as well. But thank you very much uh, for that suggestion. Looking at snow requests for a few areas out there. Thanks a lot to everybody for dropping on by for right now. And again, keeping you updated on what's going on with weather in the Mid-South on this mid-very cold Wednesday morning. Rest of the area for right now, again, looking down toward Oxford. Plenty of clouds over Oxford and the Ole Miss campus. And a little bit of snow collection here and there. It's not much, but we are seeing, again, the possibility of some more areas of snow showers here and there. Not enough to cause problems, but there will be, again, the occasional freezing rain, sleet, snow mix over northern parts of Mississippi. And that's going to be about the main thing out there for right now. Right now, getting some reports of 20s around Ripley, Mississippi. Crystal Hogue Floyd, thank you very much uh, for that. Martha Nunn, sounds like soup time. Some minestrone does sound uh, awfully good at this point in time. Shannon Blue Golding, thermal underwear, very good idea. Uh, Ken DeSautel, minus 23 in Bismarck, North Dakota. Not as cold as I've seen in parts of Topeka, Kansas, but not bad. And rest of the Mid-South area checking in with 23 in Middleton. Jennifer Denise Ross, thank you very much for that. Cloudy skies into and around the area of Germantown Parkway and Poplar Pike along the, the railroad tracks there just north of Germantown High School. Temperature of 23 degrees this morning and looking at winds out of the northwest at 12, so wind chills way on down there into the lower to mid-teens. Live view of traffic, I-240 in Poplar as the lights begin to snap off heading toward the peak of rush hour. Not as bad as it usually is during the regular parts of the year, but still getting a lot more traffic out there. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be heading down the road pretty soon. We do have one report of an accident into and around I-40 and Sycamore View. According to TDOT at this time, with multiple vehicles involved, and that's causing a bit of a slowdown right between Sycamore View and the flyover for this morning. So if you're east or westbound in those locations, this is in the... Uh, westbound lane, so this will be coming this direction, so traffic a little lighter right there, but again, inbound traffic also on the heavy side, and also some rubbernecking going on there, so again, I-40, Sycamore View between there and the flyover, some slowdowns going on on our transmitter tower camera. Now, on Storm Tracker 3S, north of I-40, not much of anything going on. South of I-40, we are seeing, again, these minor echoes showing up. This is not the satellite picture. These are the echoes that are translated by the radar display and showing, again, the possibility of rain mixed with snow. You'll see the occasional purple splotch on there with that rain-snow-sleet mixture. Very light, not a huge problem. But once again, some of these snow showers could be causing some problems with maybe visibility. And then also, if it collects on the bridges and overpasses, this could be something that could be a bit of a 
a problem with maybe a few minor slick spots out there. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling anywhere between, say, the Mississippi River and the Alabama state line as those echoes continue to show up from time to time. Now getting into later on this afternoon, all chances of moisture are going to be gone and we get some dry conditions in here. But here's the main story for the day. The temperature is back into the teens on live real-time weather net three, lower to mid-teens across the mid-south. Check out these winds right now between 10 and 20 miles per hour, and some parts of the Mid-South have seen wind gusts around 30 miles per hour, so wind chills at this time. These are just the air temperatures. Combine that with this to get the wind chill, and you've got numbers back into the single digits, even below zero from points in time out there. Marcus Big Rig Haley from Tampa, Florida, 64 degrees. That sounds nice. Uh, 27 degrees. Linda Watson Nobles in... Where is that? Blue Springs, Mississippi. Sorry about that. The bifocals are not working too well here. 15 degrees feels like zero in Maynard, Arkansas. Rebecca Bagwell, thank you very much. And Jacqueline Merritt, 21 degrees in Crockett County. Thanks to everybody for checking in there. What's left of that moisture? Heads out of the picture later on and drier air replaces it, but it's not going to be warm, that's for certain. The rest of the afternoon, temperatures back into the mid if we get enough sunshine today, possibly around 30 degrees from Tupelo, Corinth, Oxford, Clarksdale, and back toward Helena, West Helena, but that's about as good as it gets on the temperatures. Now into tonight, overnight, and into tomorrow, temperatures again not doing too much better by early tomorrow morning around daybreak. Temperatures back in the teens and lower 20s. The winds may not be quite as breezy, but they will be noticeable, so if you are going to be heading out the door early on Thursday morning, about the same as what we're looking at here. Maybe a little bit better on the wind chills, but again, not by much. John Gorley, 18, from Dyersburg. Thank you very much for checking in for today. Uh, Melinda Alderson, high temperatures today. Again, not looking at anything really warm back into the mid to upper 20s at best at this point, so not really seeing too much of a warm condition, conditions out there for right now. Paula Johnson, Batesville, 27 degrees. Thank you very much. And Jennifer Denise Ross, 23, from Middleton, Tennessee. Thank you guys very much for checking in. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on throughout the rest of the week. Mid to upper 20s today. Again, some of you south of I-40, if we get enough sunshine between those clouds, might see temperatures a little bit better in the lower to mid 30s. That's where we should wind up on high temperatures for Thursday, just a bit above freezing, and then back to around the lower 40s as we head toward Friday. Now that sounds pretty balmy at this point, but that's still about 10 to 15, even 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. So the cold air is going to be sticking around right on into Friday. All right, running out of 2017, heading into 2018. This is the time of the year, again, if you're going to be doing any parties outdoors or going to and from parties, you need to plan ahead. And this is what it looks like, chilly on Saturday, but dry, not seeing any precipitation here. For New Year's Eve during the day, mid-20s for highs. By the time the guitar drops on Beale Street, temperatures will easily be back around 20 degrees or so. Hopefully not a lot of wind out there will keep you updated on that. This is where it gets kind of interesting to where we see the possibility of maybe some light snow showers late on New Year's Eve. Eve into early on New Year's Day and temperatures by New Year's Day itself starting off 2018 not going to be looking again at a lot of recuperation on the temperatures lower 20s for highs it's going to be even colder than what it is right now in the mid-south expected to be for later on today so again the potential for snow showers is there late Sunday into early Monday not looking at huge potential right now Again, some of the computer models are not even keeping the snow in the forecast, but there will be that potential of maybe some snow showers out there as we head into the early hours of 2018. We'll keep you updated on this, so stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the next several days. Now, going back to work or school, by the time we hit next Tuesday, the January the 2nd, a lot of schools will be back in session, a lot of people heading back to work as well. Mid to upper 20s there, but bus stop temperatures will be very cold back into the lower teens. It's not quite the single digit that we saw on the forecast yesterday, but pretty doggone cold to be certain, and pretty chilly throughout the rest of the week. Again, we should be back to around 40 by the time we hit next Friday. It's not much, but at least it's some improvement out there any direction. So again, that's what we're going to be looking for for the course of the next several days. Now, once again, these numbers are always going to be in flux. That's the way weather works to where the computer models bring us new information, and we'll see different numbers, different trends emerging. We'll help you understand those, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on the potential for the cold weather and also, again, for any precipitation out there which may be causing a problem. Outside of this morning, next best chance of anything will be that minor chance as we head into Sunday and early into the new year. 
Doesn't look like much right now, but definitely want to stay tuned, and we'll keep you updated on what that looks like over the next several days. Tune in to Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh on AM 730. That'll be this morning from 8 to 10 a.m., back from Christmas break, talking sports in the Mid-South, also news and a lot of community events going on as well. They've got some great guests on here, and I'll have your weather segment as well, Monday through Fridays, 8 to 10 a.m., so tune in to listen to Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live and keep you updated on social media as well throughout the course of the next couple days. Coming up a little later on this morning, we'll have an extended version of our weather Q&A chat. It's called Weather Overtime. It's our online video weather blog, exclusive video weather blog for News Channel 3. And we'll keep you updated on what's going on there. That'll be on my Facebook page and also on Periscope and Twitter live if you can't get Facebook wherever you are. So make sure you tune in again to these social media networks and look me up. And we've got tons of information available for you. So stick around for a lot more as we keep you updated out there. Thanks, everybody, for checking on in. 27 in Oxford, Patsy and Cooper. Thank you very much for tuning in. Good morning to Pat Adway and Cold in Bartlett. Jerry Ross Umfras, thank you very much uh, for tuning on in for here for this morning. 20 degrees, Tony Wells in Earl, Arkansas. Thank you very much for all of that. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning. I've got to get wrapped up here so we can do our first update at 725. And of course, updates through News Channel 3 at noon with myself and co-anchor Nina Harrelson. Nina Harrelson, that'll be coming up a little bit later this morning. And again, weather overtime, that'll be coming up after News Channel 3 live at 9. Thanks for joining us for our weather Q&A segment early on Wednesday morning. A lot more to come with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day on air and online, so stay tuned.